Hey guys, welcome to our channel, The VIPs. These tropical pitcher plants get the majority of their nitrogen from shrew feces. Ew. That's right, shrew poop. If you liked the video so far, press the like button, subscribe to our channel, and press the bell icon to see our videos as they're uploaded. So back to it. Sunlight and soil? That's not all plants need to survive. In fact, some plants actually require some meat in their stems. Pitcher plants, for example, provide the perfect depiction of a carnivorous plant. With leaves known as pitfall traps, their prey trapping mechanism is essentially a deep cavity filled with digestive fluid. And while many pitcher plants digest ants and other insects to meet their nutritional needs, one type, known as Nepenthes loei, goes for a far more unconventional diet. They actually eat shrew feces on a regular basis. That's right, the fecal matter of a shrew actually serves as a source of nitrogen for this carnivorous plant. If you're looking for that mutually symbiotic relationship, this one is truly win-win for both parties. A toilet for the shrew and a nutritional source for the pitcher plant. In fact, these particular pitcher plants get between 57 and 100 percent of their nitrogen from shrew feces. A team of researchers observed the phenomenon on the island of Borneo in Southeast Asia. They discovered that mature N. loi plants adhere themselves to vines and wind up above the ground where they can act as feces depositories. The pitcher section of their system is so large that it can hold about a half gallon of water, and apparently quite a bit of poop, too. Mountain shrews in particular enjoy licking nectar from the plant's leaves while simultaneously defecating into its wide opening. And if this behavior wasn't peculiar enough, scientists recorded video of the animals actually leaving their scent on plants by rubbing their genitals on the lids. The shrews also return to the same plants time and again. We've heard of dogs marking their territory, but these guys take it to a whole other level. What's even more interesting is that the shape of the pitcher plant is designed to make things comfortable for the shrew. After all, humans have squatty potties. Shrews should have comfy toilets, too. Essentially, a shrew maneuvers its rear end over the plant's orifice while it licks the sugar from its lid. The feces eventually wash away into the funnel-shaped plant when it rains, keeping it clean. Sounds better than a porta potty According to scientists, insect prey is scarce in this mountainous region, so the plant adapted to survive. Nitrogen-rich feces enables it to grow, and fortunately, there are an abundance of shrews in Borneo's high-altitude environment. In case you were wondering, N. loi isn't the only pitcher plant that has an animal partnership. The N. hemsleyana allows woolly bats to seek shelter in its body and feeds off its droppings. This is considered a mutualism because the bat provides poop to the plant and the plant provides a roost for the bat. I hope you liked our video. Press the thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. We'll see you in the next video. Until then, bye-bye.